With iOS 11, Apple introduced the ability to offload unused apps. This is something that's been on Android for a while and something that a lot of users have been requesting, and I'm so excited that it's finally on iOS. So in this video, let's show you how to offload some unused apps. So what is offloading? Well, it is pretty much removing apps from your phone, all their data, but keeping the app in its spot. So you are deleting the app, but it's still on your home screen. So whenever you want it, just tap it and it'll re-download it. And the best part about offloading is that it will keep your data. So if a game, for example, you're on level 10, you do offload the app, you re-download it, it's still gonna be on level 10, no matter whether it has sync or not. So you're gonna be good to go. This is a great way to strip storage on your phone for apps you don't use a lot. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and delete this Apple support app. I don't really use it, but it's on there just in case I ever want it. So how do you do that? Well, you want to go into settings, general, and then iPhone storage. Now at the top, it's going to show you a recommendation saying, would you like to automatically offload apps? And that's going to kind of get rid of apps that you don't use all the time automatically, which is a great feature to have. So I really recommend enabling this and that is how you automatically offload your apps. But let's say you want to do one by one. How do you do that? Well, let's go ahead and find our app we want to offload. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down all the way until I find the Apple support app right here. And then now there's an option that will offload it. It'll tell you a little bit of details about what offloading does and how it keeps all of your data and everything. There's also a delete option if you want to do that. We're going to go ahead and click offload. You'll see, are you sure you want to offload it? We will say yes. And now we only have 756 kilobytes of data where compared to previously we had 46 megabytes. So the app is still there and it's going to re-download whenever we click it. And as you can see, there's a little cloud icon letting you know that it is offloaded and um, it's going to have to re-download that. So you're going to probably want an internet connection, but um, we saved 46 megabytes of data. And if we go back to settings, it'll say up top, that we can um, actually save 2.64 gigabytes if I offload every single one of my apps that I don't use. So that's probably something you want to automatically enable because that's a lot of data it can save you. And it's the best part is it keeps all your data when you bring it back afterwards. So there you go. That's how you offload apps manually and automatically on iOS 11. It's a great feature and I highly recommend you do this. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more iOS 11 videos and especially our iPhone 10 video coming out in a few weeks. Thank you so much for watching as always. This is Mark with Apple Tech 128 and I will see you in the next one.